Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to switch your Instagram account to a professional account. So if you want to switch your account to a professional account on Instagram, I'll show you guys how to do that in this video today. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure you update your uh, Instagram app. So by, you can do that by going to the App Store or Google Play Store and searching up Instagram and making sure that it's updated there. Now once you do that, you can head over to Instagram. So once you head over to Instagram, you can click on your profile picture in the bottom right corner and that will bring you to this page here. Here on this page you can click on the three lines in the top right corner and that will open this page right here. Here click on settings which is the top option and once you click on settings it will bring you to the settings page. Here you're just going to want to scroll down until you find the account option. It's right up below ads for me. So once you find the account option just click on that and scroll all the way to the bottom of the account option. Here there, will sh there should be an option to uh, switch to professional account. So if you find that option just click on it and it will bring you to this page here. Here you can just click continue and then continue. It just uh, tells you what you can do with the professional account. So you can just swipe through all this and then you can click continue and it says what best describes you. And you can just choose your digital creator or whatever you are. Entrepreneur and if you turn on this option right here display on profile it will show on your profile what the best describes you. So if you put uh, digital creator then it will show digital creator on your account. So once you find it you can just click on continue and then it will load for a bit as you can see and then once it loads all the way it will bring you to this page here. Here on this page you can choose either you're a creator or a business. So if you're a creator like an individual usually you can choose creator but if you have a business that you're trying to run on this account just choose business instead. It's basically the same thing but once you do that you can just click on continue and it'll show uh, you can just skip this if you want to it doesn't really matter and it'll bring you to this page here now here to set up your professional account you can just go through all these options to uh, complete it it doesn't really change anything so you don't actually have to do these but these just optimize your professional account so you can put in a bio change your profile picture whatever you need to do you can also put links onto your account by clicking on the links option but uh, you also need to get you can add your Facebook uh, link or like any other link like a youtube.com link or anything like that so if you have a YouTube channel you can link that or if you have a TikTok you can link that as well you can just put it in here and then you can change the name of it as well so it won't show the actual link but the n uh, name of the link and once you do that you can just uh, click next and then that'll set up that account so you can just click uh, just go through all these get inspired you can just skip that it doesn't really matter you can use you can do it if you want but grow your audience you can just go through all these as well but you don't have to it just kind of uh, tells you what to do shows what you can do to grow your audience and whatever I don't think these work that well but you know you then click done once you're done with it and here you can introduce yourself you can just click continue and just post some random post uh, it doesn't matter really at all but you can just go through all of it I would suggest you can do it, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, most of these don't matter, but it's kind of annoying to have it on your uh, account and it never uh, goes away because you have to set it up or whatever. But once you do that, you can just go back to the uh, options. As you can see, for some reason, it didn't actually complete that task. So you can it it was bugging, but I don't know what to do about it. So you can just go on to the next one if it doesn't work. But yeah, that one was weird for some reason. I tried refreshing it a couple times, but it still didn't fix it. So once you do that, you can head over to Explore Tools. These just give you random tools that you can use, like Insights. It shows how many people viewed your profile, how many people liked it, how many people shared it, how many people actually saw it, which converted to the likes, and how many impressions it had, you know, most of the normal analytic things, how many people saved it. It's just a ton of analytics that you can go through but as you can see I just posted it I don't have any followers or anything so obviously there's no data so that's basically how you set up your account you can also do this you can set up an ad for it if you want to but I wouldn't suggest doing it unless you actually build up audience first but once you build up audience ads can be good to run and that is how you set up your Instagram professional account so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate a like, subscribe. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys next time.